Not sure what we need wood for. It's in sale. Cheers! Cheers! It's the private time. It's our time to get away from it all. Hello and welcome back to video number three. As you can see, I am dressed up a bit today because I'm going into Manchester with my friends for some drinks and then food. So that should be good. We're going to a place called Albert Shed for something to eat. We've booked that about six. It's now about one o'clock. Um, so we're going to Albert Shed for food, but then we'll go to a place called Duke's 92 for a few drinks first. Which, if you've not been to Manchester or if you don't know places in Manchester to go and eat and drink, definitely recommend Duke's in the summer. It's got a huge courtyard. It feels like you're not really in the city centre, but it's like packed with people, really good atmosphere. They usually have a musician on in the day. Um, really nice decor and food is amazing as well and reasonably priced, which is obviously an important factor. So we'll probably go there for a few drinks in Albert Shed, which I've never been to for food. So that should be good. I'm wearing these Zara earrings, which are just incredible, I love them. But although they actually broke and then had to replace them, which was fine, but they did it, but it's a bit annoying. And then Zara dress that I wore the other day, but I really love it because, I'll show you in the mirror, really love it because it's so easy to wear. It looks good dressed up. You can kind of dress up with the red lipstick. Um, but then also, I've just paired it with flats because I can't be bothered walking around in heels today. Especially in the day, I don't think you need heels on. And if you've seen from my Instagram story, I'm looking for um, like a nice low heel that's something a bit different. Can't seem to find anything anywhere that I really love, but... Um, well, I'll, I'll keep searching and let you know if I find anything. Uh, so yeah, that's today. Hopefully I'll get to sort of show you a bit of footage. I'm not going to take this camera because I'm scared. So um, I'll hopefully get something anyway. So see you later. So just before I go out, I'll show you the products that I've used because this is actually what I got in the last vlog in the Avon um, meeting that we went to. So first is this Mark. Um, lipstick by Avon in the colour Coral Burst, that's what I've got on my lips now. Really creamy texture, um, but quite matte looking, which I like. Um, so it doesn't feel like it's going to be dried, especially because I'm wearing it all day. Um, yeah, so apparently Avon have brought out this new range called Mark. You can get it online. Really good, I definitely recommend this. And then the mascara, I don't know, probably can just about see, but it's one of the best mascaras I've used in terms of length and thickness so just a really great mascara that is also by Ava uh, called that's this mark range mark big and extreme mascara in an orange thing this is just the black one and then the other product to use on my hair is what I got at the Salon Success dinner the other night. Neuro Style Finish Heat Control Style Spray. Um, I've just curled my hair a little bit. It's naturally very, very straight. Just curled it a bit, so hopefully spraying that will give it, um, will sort of make it last a bit longer. Um, so yeah, those are the products.
Sunday and back from Manchester obviously um had such a lovely day yesterday um we went to Duke's for drinks where I said we were going and then Albert's shed and I had a salmon salad which was delicious definitely recommend it if you're sort of on a bit of a health kick like I am I had some chips with it as well um and then we went to Albert Schloss which is our favorite place to go into Manchester if you've not been it's so good, live music on like a proper band on stage. It's always busy, always really good atmosphere in summer and winter. Um, so if you've not been there, definitely go. Um, so today is just a bit, well, I went to the gym this morning and forced myself to go. Um, and I've got to take a couple of pictures for an upcoming campaign I'm doing with Lidl, which um, is interesting because they've actually got, this is, a piece from Lidl, it's a ha uh, from the Heidi Klum range. I've got this top and then another dress, which is just quite cute with these denim shorts and my basket shoes. Uh, and then these earrings are just from Primark. So I'm gonna shoot that, but I just want a day of rest to be honest. So probably get home and sit out in the sun. So I'm back from shooting now, just had a little quick photo shoot and I'm just in the garden relaxing. The sun's gone in a little bit but it has been absolutely roasting. I'm wearing this dress from ASOS. I've just linked it on my stories but I realise there's only two sizes left. So I will try and link a similar one below because um, there are quite a lot of these going around at the moment. And then my necklace is by a brand called Gold Luna. They have some really nice pieces, affordable and um jeepers peepers sunglasses so i'm just sat here with my diet pepsi and a stack full of magazines and newspapers because i never really get to have a moment by myself where i'm just can read or whatever um my parents have gone out and tim's working today on a sunday which is a bit annoying but i'm just gonna have some time to myself to relax and enjoy this beautiful weather it's now monday and i'm just at home today um been basically uploading my youtube video all morning because my macbook's run out of storage and I had to pay for this mac cleaner and anyway it took a long time but um it's finally sorted i think and the youtube video should be up soon however i'm just um well basically i thought i'm going away on wednesday to the lake district with tim just for two nights but i promised myself that i'm gonna stop working like I'm not gonna go on instagram I'm not gonna vlog i'm not gonna do anything work related i'm gonna not even probably not even take many photos so um that was Wednesday to Friday, so I thought this is going to be a boring vlog if I'm not vlogging those days. So I thought I'd do a bit of a try on. This is kind of for me and for the camera because um, I'm going to need something to wear in the lakes. So I thought why not try some things on and then just share them. So I did an ASOS order the other day and it's just come through. Um, but one of the items with this top, it's just a plain navy t-shirt. I always very much begrudge paying money for basic things like white t-shirts, navy t-shirts, gym clothes, stuff like that. So uh, I finally splashed out a whole six pounds for this just plain navy t-shirt. It needs a bit of an iron at the moment. Um, just a nice shade of navy. I thought I don't want anything like fancy in the lakes because I mean it's the lakes. So plain navy t-shirt with some uh, boyfriend jeans by Dorothy Perkins um, and then Zara shoes, my old faithfuls and then this little trench coat because apparently it's meant to be raining after all this glorious weather. This trench coat is from River Island really cute it's just like a cropped swingy trench and then I'm gonna wear it with these sunglasses just really casual um, nice for if it rains got a necklace on by gold luna um, they're a really nice shop I think I've spoken about them before and jeepers peepers sunglasses just a bit of gold to zhuzh it up but yep that's just basic outfit number one 
So I've just realised that the second item basically goes with the same outfit, but I might try it on with something else in a minute. It's this, um, what kind of, what colour would you call it? Maybe a very pale oatmeal um, sweater. I can't even imagine wearing a jumper in this weather at the moment, but apparently it's like 15 degrees and raining when we're there. Typical. However, um, this will be really handy if it is that weather. I thought maybe I could wear it over a white shirt as well. Um, if it does get that cold. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I've just got these jeans on again with these shoes. But it's so comfy. Not too heavy for um, like a colder summer day. And just like perfect staple piece. So I've just put the same jumper out with these Ted Baker trousers. I actually got these when I was um, doing a campaign with Ted Baker. And they're just like really well fitting smart um classic navy trousers that you can throw on with anything i thought maybe if we're exploring the town because we're going to keswick um i want something a bit nicer than jeans so i just thought uh, a jumper and nice trousers and trainers is a kind of like smarter way to do casual so this is what i'd probably wear it with as well and i've just put this navy t-shirt back on um, because I thought I could wear this kind of if it gets a bit warmer maybe or just as a different outfit and different time just she can cash so this blouse was sent over from nasty gal I've not worn it yet I really like it but I thought if we went out for a meal just nice but still kind of casual um might wear these jeans with it might not Mm, not decided yet, might just wear blue jeans. Yeah, I definitely prefer it with these jeans. I think this blouse needs to be tucked in because it's quite frou-frou. Um, these are just old faithful Stradivarius mom jeans. So, um, yeah, possibly we'll take this with me as just an evening meal look. So that's all from my little try-on. Um, so those are probably the outfits I'll be taking to the lakes with me. Um, just something kind of like that kind of wardrobe. Just really simple, classic things that I can just mix and match really easily without worrying too much. Because we're going glamping, but I'm not sure where the glam part comes into it. It's now Tuesday and it's about 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm about to go to Liverpool just for a few um, bits for the lakes and then I'm just going to have a look around and a bit of a shop I think. That's the benefits of being self-employed that you can just go shopping on a weekday um, when it's nice and quiet. So this is what I'm wearing. Uh, this dress I actually got in winter and it's by a brand called Second Thread. I think um, the actual brand of the dress is Neon Rose. Uh, they might still sell it actually. It's kind of like a wrap dress bit frilly and I wore it on New Year's Eve and I've not kind of worn it in summer because I've kind of associated it with like a winter dress. Um, so I think it looks quite nice with like trainers because it's got white stars on. Um, I've got my Gucci bag on, Gucci Soho which I got I want to say three years ago now which is a long time but it is honestly been the best bag I've not fallen out of love with it at all I absolutely love it still wear it loads the quality is still amazing you perhaps can't see on the camera that well but it needs a bit of a polish but like there's no rips no um thread coming off such a good buy and I actually got it in flannels in Liverpool it was in the sale for some reason and I couldn't find the bag anywhere. I didn't see it on Selfridges, didn't see it um, on anywhere online. And I got it in the sale for 750 I think, which obviously isn't cheap, but for this size of Gucci bag, you're really like talking 1,500 or something like that. Um, so yes, yeah, such a good buy. Um, and it fits loads in as well. And then this jacket is by, I saw it first. Uh, I actually put an Instagram poll which jacket, this one, or like a longer denim jacket. And everybody said this one, so that's why I've gone with this. Gold Luna necklace that I had on the other day. Earrings, I can't remember where they're from. And just these H&M trainers, because comfort is key. So I'm going to show you around Liverpool and kind of 
track the day. And I've just tried this dress on, it's in the sale. Tried it on the other week, um, it was £50, I nearly bought it. And now it's down to 20 which is such a bargain. I think I might get it. I'm just like, I'm obsessed with long midi dresses, floral, long sleeves, perfect and such a good price. So I've got another floral number on. Didn't really want to like this because I was gonna get the other, and I've got one similar coming um, that I've ordered from uh, Brandon Dean a collab with. So, mm, I really like it. So I wasn't gonna, um, I wasn't gonna get this one, but now I've tried it on and I really like it. And I think the colours suit me. I think this maybe is a bit low though. Perhaps do with a little stitch there or something. I forgot to add, this one's now £15. I think it was 30 or 35 before. So I've now finished an H&M. Um, I actually bought that floral dress um, and some rings and I got some money off as well because um, I'm a member of the H&M club which is brilliant. So. That was a little bargain of the day. I'm just going to Zara now. which is like next door to flannels if you kind of know it around here um had a quick look in there things are nice but i think they're a bit overpriced like for what they are you can get them in zara very similar Forever 21 and see if they've got anything in the sale there. So I've just got back. Apologies for looking very scruffy, but as soon as I get home, I've got to change into comfy clothes. This is actually from Colourful Rebel. Really nice and soft and just good to throw on with jeans around the house, especially when you're um, working from home so you don't look like a complete scruff. Anyway, I'm just, well, I've just had some lunch and now I'm just, whilst I was having lunch and continued into post-lunch, uh, I've been watching um, Sheer Looks, where, let's have a look if you can see it. Oh yeah, it's um, the beside, behind the scenes episodes of Sheer Looks. If you've not watched them, I definitely recommend you watching them. Um, they're really well done um, behind the scenes of Sheer Looks, which is kind of like an online fashion directory almost, um, slash magazine. And now they've branched out into YouTube videos, which I think are very well done. Um, so definitely worth watching if you're looking for something to watch on YouTube other than my channel. So um, this afternoon I intend to clean my car on the inside so fingers crossed 
get my things ready for the lakes and just take it easy really this afternoon. So that's the rest of the day. So I'm just packing my bits for the lakes. Um, basically I've just packed jumpers, jeans, big scarf, um, a nice white shirt to go under some jumpers, a white t-shirt to go under this jumper and bread on striped tea for if we go out for a meal. I just, well basically it's meant to be rubbish weather so jumpers are needed. Got this um, cropped little trench, um, maybe my denim jacket and then I'm going to take just some skinny jeans to wear with my wellies and then I've got like an under jacket and then an over jacket, barber jacket which will just be nice if we go for a little walk. Um, and then I'm going to take these products just as like little mini things. So this is my English Pear and Freesia Jo Malone which smells so lovely. Um, I got this quite recently actually and worn it quite a lot. And then some mini La Mer products that I got at the event the other day which are going to come in quite handy for things like this. So there's an exfoliator and a cleansing foam and then this lip balm is so nice I've been using it a lot it's kind of lightweight not greasy it's a nice clear color so it just goes on really well and then I take my Henry watch a bit of a classic my gold lunar necklace um, this I just got from H&M today I might not take that um, and then Ashley Clark necklace just for a bit of some jewelry so yeah very basic but necessary for where we're going. <laughs> Hello, it's now Wednesday and I'm all packed and ready to go to the Lake District. Here's the stuff I'm taking. Definitely will need some champagne <laughs> uh, and a scarf and my piles of coats. However, I'm gonna talk about something a bit more exciting than my toiletries. So I've just had a quite a big River Island order come through and this top was one of the pieces that I ordered. It's actually a bodysuit and it's so comfy. I've been looking for something like this that will kind of um, be nice as a casual top but then also like it looks nice so I can go out casually, ticks those button down trends. I've just put it on my Insta story. Um, and I'll leave a link below so you can shop it. Also, another thing I received today were these sunglasses by um, Chimmy Eyewear. Um, Chimmy, I think they're a new brand, well, fairly new. Um, they're being stocked in Harvey Nicks and a few other places that I can't remember, but you can get them online, obviously. Um, so these ones are like the clear Perspex ones. There's a few different styles of these, but these are kind of the biggest ones. Um, and I've got a discount code, which is Lydia15 for 15% off. I also got these ones as well, if you kind of fancy something that's a bit more trend-led. Hang on. These ones are called, the shade's called Kiwi. And they're that kind of like cool style that's in at the moment. They're green with like a green tint. You can see the colour there, they're so nice. Um, anyway, I'm glad these arrived because I'm going to take them to the lakes with me. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much, I'm ready to go. We thought Tim was going to maybe be able to finish half a day at work today, but he wasn't able to. So we're now going to the lakes this evening. So yeah, there we are. Got the essentials out. So we're having that tonight. And then Wait, that doesn't need to be cold. Yeah, it doesn't need to be cold. Uh, Not sure what we need wood for. <laughs> Why do we need that? To keep ourselves warm. What's this? To keep ourselves warm. This is a little, uh, little barbecue. <laughs> Blanket. Okay. In case okay. we get, right. get the shivers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're all packed up and ready to go, aren't we? Yeah, we're heading out to the sticks. Okay. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. <laughs> and you're not coming with us, unfortunately. It's a uh, it's a private time for us, isn't it? It's a private time. It's our time to get away from it all, away from technology. And 
No, that and do, distraction. Do, uh, <laughs> I was going to say decompose. <laughs> but we don't want to decompose. Definitely not. No. So, see when we get back, if we survive. Well, no, because it's the end of the vlog. Right. Until Saturday. So, bye. Toodle pip. <laughs>